The Lexus International Gay Polo Tournament is returning to the National Polo Center in Wellington this weekend, and for the past 17 years, this truly one-of-a-kind event has extended an open invitation to everyone of all identities, and this year will be no different. With us now in studio is founder Chip McKinney. Chip! Welcome to ISF. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here with all of the the of the, of the merch and the swag. <laughs> That's, you can't have too much <laughs> swag. I'm all GPL'd up. GPL'd for the win. We love it. It's, it's really, really cool. Over Thank 17 you. years ago, you started the Gay Polo League. Correct. Uh, first of all, polo is a very specific sport. Mm -hmm. We just don't go out and play polo. But you did. And you're like, you know what? Let's have uh, representation uh, be represented throughout this sport. Yeah, it actually was a little bit more of a journey to it okay. than the next. Quick analysis. So I have show jumping in my background and I've had horses all my life. And at the age of 50, I decided I was done with show jumping. I was gonna do something new. And I thought it would not involve horses. I kind of thought I'd done everything I could do. And then um, I decided one day to go up to the Santa Barbara Polo Club and take a polo lesson. It was just so random. And literally halfway through Corey, I said, this is a great sport for gay people. I'm gonna start a gay polo league. And bam, here we are. Yeah, how many years later? How, and yes. now we have members in uh, 15 countries. That's incredible. It's incredible. April 6th through the 9th, this year's tournament's happening in Wellington Correct. at the, uh, National, the National Polo Center. Correct. Lots of fun. Beyond mm. just the polo itself, it's an event. There are themes. I mean, you are immersed in, in a lot of great, really great times, really great funs this year yes. at, at this event. So our event is unique in many, many ways, but I think the biggest takeaway if I contextualize it for somebody sure. is it's like the love child between Burning Man and Pretty Woman. Wow. So it's high impact, it's super creative, it's wildly inclusive, it's an open welcoming group that comes. It's just a blast, really. Isn't it interesting how we are both LGBTQ plus and I think the a, a through line and a theme for people of our community is that we are always so welcoming because mm -hmm. we know what it's like to not be welcomed. I think there's truth to that for sure. I also feel that you know, as we um, as we know, times are more complicated mm -hmm. for our uh, for our communities, particularly in this state and perhaps in this country and maybe globally. So the awareness and the visibility of LGBT has changed. Uh, One hundred percent in all facets of life, from from everyday just interactions with people right. to television. Mm -hmm. Clothing. I mean, representation's at its finest. And last year, you raised one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars for the One Pulse Foundation. Yes. 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 This year, of course, you're aiming to aim. You're aiming to raise so much. We want more. a million. Let's we're, let's moment of silence to manifest that right now. <laughs> that's right. Bam. We're a million. Yes. Here I we go. A million dollars. Right? But that that no. that that's that's important. I think it is. You know, what's really important is we have a wonderful platform, we have a great event, we have a lot of supporters, we have a lot of spectators, and we have a lot of extremely um, generous sponsors. So we're able to, to create this five-day celebration of LGBT athletes and celebrate the best of our communities. With that, we should be doing something. Mm -hmm. Positive. So five years ago, maybe six years ago now, we became a 501c3 and we did Compass, which was a local organization. We raised money for them and then we raised money for SAGE, which is a national organization that advocates for LGBT elders. And then I was introduced to One Pulse Foundation last year and they became our charity partner last year and this year. So connecting with them, obviously we know the tragedy that took place there um, years ago, but when, when now that you are working with them and being able to be boots on the ground with them, what do you see? And, 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 how, do you, and how do you feel helping and giving back in that capacity to that foundation? We decided to, to work with One Pulse Foundation because after we researched what they were doing and really what motivated them to do. You know, we all know the horrific story about right. the Pulse Massacre. Yes. But what do you do with that? How do you take something like that and turn it into something that is teachable, that is um, legacy, that remembers the people who lost their lives that night? And what One Pulse did is they immediately set, set up scholarships in the names, 48 scholarships, by the way, 48 people were killed, 48 scholarships in the name of the victims. And from there, they moved it forward and said, okay, 
we can never dance in this club again. So they tore the club down. And on that site, they're doing a capital raise to build a reflection center and to have educational programs, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it's a magnificent tribute to the people whose lives are lost. But I think it's extremely valuable that we also understand that we have to continue to educate people about being LGBT or being on any diversity spectrum. And it leans on also that throughout that tragedy that we can hopefully possibly glean something positive from that. And, and even even saying that sounds sounds terrible, but that's yeah. I mean that's the reality well, and, of it. Right, and that's what they've done. Yeah. Okay, so sum it up for us. Right. It's going down April sixth to the ninth. Yes. Correct. Okay. Cool. At the. National Polo Center in Wellington. Which is one of the top polo venues in the world, by the way. I mean, one of the top three. We don't expect anything it's less. It's elegant. It's fabulous. Elegant. Yeah. Elevated. We love it. We love right. it. Lots of fun. There's going to be entertainment, the games, uh -huh. themes. Right. Everyone's included. Yeah. Everyone's invited. Correct. All are welcome. Our event is open to everybody. We're, we're LGBT identified, but we're inclusive, not exclusive. So we're that type of event. You can bring your grandmother. You can bring your great grandfather. Anybody. You can bring kids. Everybody's welcome. And Great. it's a really wonderful day. Chip, congratulations on Thank you very years. much. I'm, oh, and I brought you a gift, by the way. Gifts for me, Chip? Yes, this is your very own GPL Polo Ball. I can't do enough for others. You can't do enough for others. No. I received this. We received this for our ISF. Again, yeah. Congratulations. 17 Thank years you. of doing great work, giving back. This year Thank is going you. to be fantastic. It will and be our best so far by far. So, so far by far, and you are fabulous. Chip. Of course. Chip McKinney, thank, thank you so you much. Sir. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it.